to My Happy Homestead and today we are going to be sharing with you how we freeze apples for apple pie and apple crisp. So looking forward to sharing this with all of you and let's get started. All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys around in the station. So here's where the apples are. It's probably only about half. We have more in the fridge outside. And then over here is the rinsing and peeling station. And then there's the cutting board. Here is the spices and where we're going to mix it up and put it in bags. It's important that you label it before you make the apples because then you'll know when you made it and you'll know if they're not bad or not. Alright, so right now Abby is just dicing up or I should say slicing all of the apples into um, kind of bite-sized slices. You don't want to make them too thin, otherwise when you bake them, they'll just turn to mush. So you want, um, you know, probably about a quarter inch thickness. And then over there, you can see she's putting the cores on the side. The cores will be used for either the deer feed or we'll also use them to give to our goats as a treat. There's eight cups of sliced apples. We're gonna be adding sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and the lemon so it doesn't turn down. Now that the first batch is done, we're just gonna carefully Spoon it into our gallon size Ziploc bags that we already labeled with the date and the year on it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll squeeze all the air out so that it doesn't get freezer burn over the winter. And then that's it. Okay, well that wraps up our freezer portion of apple crisp and apple pie filling. Next up, we're gonna be making apple sauce and apple butter, so we hope that you'll join us. If you try to freeze apples your own this winter, comment down below and tell us um, what you did, and if you tried our recipe, we'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more from My Happy Homestead. Thanks for joining, bye.